The tab reloader extension is an easy to use tab reloader with lots of different settings and advanced options for reloading tabs within your browser. To begin using this extension, we first add it to our browser. After this extension has been installed, we then pin it to our toolbar. We do this by clicking inside the toolbar here and selecting the pin option. Now we see the toolbar has the extension icon inside it. So let's go ahead and visit a website with a hit counter on it to demonstrate. So at the moment we can see a hit counter here that shows the amount of times this page has been refreshed. When we go ahead and refresh, we can see this number goes up. So it's 75, 76, 77, and so on. So to start using this, we left click on the icon inside the toolbar, and then we see all of the different options within. First of all, we see the option to enable this reloader. This essentially turns the reloading function on and off. By default, we have a five minute reloading time. We then have the option to select to not reload if the tab is active. We also see the usual catch while reloading, bypass form submission, scroll to the end after reload, and a few others. So I'm gonna go through all of these different options. So to start, all we do is enable this. We then see the countdown here that lets us know how long until the page refreshes. So by default, this is five minutes. We want this faster. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say 10 seconds. So we change this. So we put zero minutes, zero hours, zero days, 10 seconds. Then we go ahead. And we can see the countdown begins. We can see there's a number inside the browser toolbar here to let us know that there's one current job running. As we can see, the page is automatically refreshed and it goes up. And again, it's gonna count down three, two, one, and we see the page refresh and the number's gone up again. We can also see details here about the current active jobs. We can click that and it takes us to the tab. We can then disable this. Now what we can select here is we can select to not reload if the tab is active. Now a tab is deemed active when it's a tab we're actually visiting. So let's go ahead and enable this again and see what happens. So now the tab is active and it should reload in five, four, three, two, one. And you'll notice it hasn't reloaded because the tab is active. So let's go ahead and go to a different website or come away from that tab. And now let's have a look and see if this reloads. And as you can see, it did automatically reload there as we saw by the loading symbol. And that's because the tab was then inactive when we weren't on it. We also have the option to use the catch while reloading. What this means is it essentially uh, remembers or saves the data we had previously and reloads the page with that. So we always see the catch version of the website as we are um, reloading the data. We also have the option to bypass the form submission. Now what I mean by this is if we go ahead and submit a form here. Now you notice when we refresh, it's gonna ask us to confirm the form resubmission by default as a standard manual refresh. So now if we go into this options and we go ahead and click bypass the form and then we go ahead and enable it on this page. Let's see what happens. So in four seconds, three seconds, two seconds, one second. You notice that the page refreshed and it didn't ask us to confirm or resubmit the form because the extension is automatically handling that. The extension also allows us to actually automatically scroll to the end of the page after reloading it. So to go ahead and do this, we simply select to enable the scroll to the end after reload and then enable the reloader again. Now you'll notice as the timer starts to count down from 10, down to five, four, three, two, then one, we'll see this page refresh and we'll notice that it scrolls down automatically as we see here. So now we're at the footer of the page rather than at the header where we were previously. We can also set custom JavaScript to be executed or fired every single time the page refreshes. So a good demonstration of this is we're gonna write a message inside the console log. So we're just gonna have it say hello world inside the console log when the page refreshes. So let's go ahead and enable this. And then let's have a look at the console log. Now we'll see when this page refreshes that the console log now has the text hello world being written into it.
This extension also has an options panel behind it as well. To view this, you can right click and then click on options. Within the options panel, you see multiple different options. For example, you can toggle whether to display the total amount of tasks currently being um, reloaded. You can allow it to automatically restore any reloading jobs when the browser is restarted. So if you've put a job in on a previous tab, then you restart the browser, that tab can then return and that job is remembered as a session data. You can then go ahead and change methods as well as things such as the badge colors, as well as the, the default re, uh, reloading time. So you can change this, for example, to 10 seconds if you want, as well as writing custom jobs and the reloading policy code for advanced settings. This is an easy to use slimline extension with a lot of advanced functionality also available. So it's fantastic for any reloading tasks or job you may have across your different browser tabs.